What's up, what's up, YouTubers? This is JT Star signing in again, giving a scoop of what's going on around the world. And this band I like to talk about is my one of my favorite, favorite Japanese rock bands called Death Grease. And they are freaking, freaking awesome. I love them. And um, these are this is one of the Japanese rock bands. Well, I'm a big fan of Japanese rock bands, first off. And um, this is one of the Japanese rock bands that's like slowly working their way on up to the top. So this is a band that you guys need to watch out for. They're not quite on um, Durin Gray or the Gazette's level yet. They're not on their level yet, but they're getting there. And um, right now they're on their 10th year anniversary and they're touring Europe for the first time this year. They're touring uh, Europe and it's... It's awesome to see that, you know, progress is happening for them, and I like to see them come here to America. If I had the money, I would fly my ass all the way over to Japan or Europe just to see, just to see a show, you know. I would pay money to see them perform. Um, now, the first thing I want to say is the fact that uh, the first time I listened to them was a song called Blood. Blood is... It was one of those songs that it took me a while to get into because the vocalist, he has like a nasal kind of vocal style. Um, well, not style, but sound. Um, so it's, it might take, you know, people a while to get used to that, but, you know, I mean, it's different. It's, di it's a lot different from the bands that I've listened to, but um, I, lo I love it. I love it. And um, they kind of remind me of Slipknot. So if you like Slipknot, um, and if you can get past the nasal sound and the, the language barrier, then more than likely you'll like them. Um, but they do have certain, they do have a few songs in English. But um, I, I played the song for most of my friends, and most of my friends, they like them, you know? They're like, wow, this is pretty cool. So um, that just goes to show you the language barrier, um, the nasal sound, it, you, could, you could get past it, you know? Because uh, these are some awesome musicians. Um, the whole band. The guitar player, he plays seven strings, eight string guitar. And he's freaking, freaking amazing. The bass player, um, he he's freaking awesome too. I, he make me want to step up my own game as far as playing, you know, this style of music, metal. And, um, I mean, I play a little bit of everything, but I definitely want to tap more into, like, you know, metal and thrash metal, you know. But uh, that is what I grew up on, too. And uh, the drummer, he is freaking amazing. He's on the same level as the drummer from Slipknot, you know. Like, these guys are awesome. And this is what I love about Japanese rock bands. This is why I like Japanese rock bands more so than American bands. It's, it's just that unit-wise, everybody is on point. Everybody's bringing their A game. Nobody's slacking. Unlike a lot of the American bands here, you might have the drummer who might be the best out of the whole band, or you might have the guitar player that just stands out. And not many bass players that I've, I've heard from Amer like the modern American rock bands sound good to me. You know, they, they pretty much play what the guitar player is playing. And that's why I don't like too much of uh, American bands or whatever, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but I, I would definitely recommend this this band to anybody that's willing and looking to get into like this style of music, you know, Japanese rock music. And I like to see more happen. But anyways, this is JT Star signing out, giving you my review, my opinion, and um, hope to hear more from them. But anyways, peace. Subscribe, like, out.